Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be the finale to my summer project Use It Up. I am so excited to show you guys everything that I got through within the three months that I was running this project. So we ran it from June, July to August. So in those three months, I'm going to show you what I finished up, things that I still have progress on that I didn't quite finish up in the last month. And then um, we're going to have the fall intro on the 1st of September. So I hope you guys are ready for the fall one. I know I am. I am so excited for pumpkin spice and all things cozy and warm and I just need the weather to catch up with what I'm feeling. <laughs> so anyways, with all that being said, we're going to go through first all the things that I didn't quite finish up and then we're going to get into all the empties. So let's get started. And I do also just want to say welcome if you are new to my channel. I did get quite a few new visitors over the summer and if that is you, I would love for you to subscribe and join our family. It is a fun Bath & Body Works obsessed family that we have here. I do weekly vlogs every week, posting on Monday and then Bath & Body Works content Wednesday or Friday. Wednesday and Friday. And yeah, we have a lot of fun on this channel. So if you'd like to subscribe down below, you can definitely do that. And now let's get into the products. Okay, let's start with what I used up since the last update in the beginning of August. So about three and a half weeks, I did finish up my Beach Nice body lotion. So happy to have finished this one. Honestly, I was obsessed with Beach Nights all of last month and July as well. All of August and July, I've been just totally obsessed with Beach Nights and I did finish off both the body lotion and the shower gel. So I finished off both of these. I have progress lines for you guys, but basically I did this in a month and then all the way down to the bottom in the next month. So it took me like a month and a half to finish off the lotion. And I was concentrating on that pretty hard. <laughs> that was like the only thing I wanted to use. And then for the shower gel, it took me a little longer because I was focusing on a few things. So I started up here a month, a month, and then finished it off that much in a month. So absolutely adored Beach Nights. I love it. I already have a backup set ready for next year. Uh, it is amazing. It's definitely not what you thought, like Summer Marshmallow, the old scent was called Summer Marshmallow. Um, it's definitely not like a Summer Marshmallow. It smells like you're on the beach roasting um, s'mores, it, roasting marshmallows. It definitely gives off like a an air kind of scent, but I absolutely adored this one. So finished off this. And the only other thing that I finished off in the project is the little mini mix bar perfume and cloud musk. It took me about two months to finish off this one, but I really did enjoy it. Not gonna repurchase it because I didn't fall in love with it, but I did like it. So while we're on perfumes, let's just go through those. I have again, the Mary Kay Winter Wishes perfume. I've been trying to get through this for a while. Um, I just haven't really been gravitating towards it. So I think I am gonna retire this from the fall project, but maybe put it back in in winter since it is a winter perfume. But here's the progress I made in the last month. Just a tiny bit, honestly, not a lot, but I did use it. So I felt good for using it, but yeah, we're not gonna force ourselves to use that one. And then the Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy perfume. I can't tell <laughs> how much I've used because it's not see-through, um, but it does feel lighter. So I definitely think I'm more than halfway done with this little guy and really enjoying it. So Fine Fragrance Mist, like I said, Beach Nights I was loving last month um, too much. So I had to replace my like primary focus one with um, Bonfire Bash. So I was primarily focused on Bonfire Bash last month. So this one kind of suffered. So Beach Nights, I really only got this much, a very little amount um, through it, which is fine by me because I want to save this for next year. So that's that one. And then for Bonfire Bash, I got through a lot of it. So this is how much progress I made in the last month. That's a sizable chunk for myself. So um, I'll show you the rest of the lines. We went from here to here in a month, here to here, and then here down to here. So I'm about where I wanted to be, which is right at the diamond in Bonfire Bash. That's where I wanted to be at the end of this project. So I definitely got through it. I'm loving it. It is just a really nice, sweet, sugary marshmallow scent. It's beautiful. Honestly, this is what we all thought Beach Nights would have smelled like, but they can't make the same scent. So yeah, Bonfire Bash was really good to me over the last month and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And then Champagne Toast, which has been in the project for a while. I did only get a tiny bit done out of this one, but I've been enjoying it so much, especially downstairs when I'm working 
and like spraying the furniture and stuff. I've really been enjoying it and it's fun to see a fine fragrance mist of mine that is below halfway. Like that's insane to me to think about. I've used that much already, but here's our progress lines. I believe these ones up here are from the summer and then everything else up here is from an earlier project, I think maybe spring. Yeah, I've been getting steady progress on this one, loving it. And then the other body wash that I had in the shower is the Sunshine Mimosa Moisturizing Body Wash. I did get through a little bit in the last month. I was focusing on Bonfire Bash, so I didn't get through a lot, but we are right about here on the packaging. And this is how much I've gotten through in the project. So definitely got through a lot of this one, but I think I will be retiring it just because I can't imagine using this into the fall, but I really do like this formula and I'm gonna have to find a new moisturizing body wash to use for the fall because I have not bought one yet. Maybe Midnight Amber Glow, thinking about that one. Next, I have an update on White Pumpkin and Chai. This one, I did have the pump on it last time and it was of course right side up last time. So I'll show you the progress lines. Um, we were right here last time and now we're down to here, but I have it tipped over now with a lid on it just so I can get that last good bit out of it. Um, I really only have like a few more days left with this one and it'll be done. So this will be very easy to finish off and it is already a fall scent. So also still working on the peppermint essential oil um, aromatherapy lotion. I'm using this as a hand lotion downstairs um, during work. <laughs> I just leave it on my desk. I work from home and I put it on pretty much every single meeting that I have. I'll put it on right before the meeting just to like remind myself. So. I'm putting it on quite a few times during the day and this is the progress I made in the last month. Just a little bit, but I'm happy with the progress because now I'm using it consistently. And I actually think it's like kind of motivating because it's peppermint and it, it feels like you're being productive. I don't know, I really like it, so. Okay, next we have body scrubs. I have the Sweet Whiskey Celestial Scrub. You guys, I did not know that the Celestial Scrubs left your body glowing. So that was pretty cool. Um, I think I showered last time and figured out that my legs were like glittery. I really hadn't like rubbed my body with a towel. I really only pat it and that's the only reason why I even noticed that my legs were glittery, but they were glittery. So that was kind of cool. But anyway, Sweet Whiskey. I did get quite a bit of progress on this since last month. It was full and now we're down to here. I've been thoroughly enjoying this one just because it is very gentle and I can use it pretty much every day and I really like the, the smell of this one. It's getting me in the mood for fall and yeah. Loving this one so far. The next one I have to update you guys on, I did just put in at the beginning of the month, so I don't have too much progress on it, but I do have some. And that is the Onyx Bathhouse Hot Mess Express Foaming Body Scrub. I did get this from Marshalls. And this one is supposed to be smells like honey, I think. Pomegranate, musk, and honey. I love this scent. It's very relaxing. And I did get quite a bit of use out of it. I am now down to where the yellow is on the packaging. So about a third of the way through, and I think I did really good in the last month on this one. Okay, last update I have for you guys is the Brazil Nut Body Butter from Trader Joe's. I also put this one in last month just to like, I just bought it uh, at the end of July, I think. So I really wanted to start using it a lot and just get the most use out of it that I could while it was still summer. So I did get a little bit of use out of this, not a lot, but I find it really hard to like dig in there with my nails and stuff. I don't know, I just, I don't like it, so I might have to get a little scooper for this, but the scent is absolutely amazing, and I love it so much. I will continue, I think, to use this, maybe not put in the project, but I think I'll continue to use this after um, showers where I shave, just because it really, really moisturizes very well, so loving this. Okay, so that's all the updates for the summer project. I am going to put all my empties right here behind me on the bed, and we're gonna go through everything that I got through in the three months of the summer and you guys it's a lot more than i thought so let me go ahead and put that together and we will be right back okay here is a little look at everything that we got through i am missing my raspberry jam donut body cream i can't for the life of me find it in my empties bin so I, I it's missing but i did finish off two body creams so raspberry jam donut and margarita cupcake which this one smells so good i'm really sad that they did not they only brought this out one year, and I think they brought it out again for like SAS and a few different formulas, not in everything, but yeah, I really love this scent. It smells so good, I'm gonna miss it. And then I did finish off two body lotions, one in Confetti Cake Pop and one in Beach Nights. I finished off three shower gels, really happy about that. Beach Nights, uh, Christmas Cookies, and Raspberry Jam Donut. I finished off two body scrubs, which I, think is, which I think is great because that tells me I can finish up two body scrubs every season. So that means I can have eight body scrubs per year. 
kind of just mathing everything out there, but I finished off the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in Crushed Almond and Mango Butter. Love this. Would definitely buy it again next summer. Dim Bunzdo by Onyx Bath Bathhouse. This is the Cinnamon Body Scrub. Love this one as well. I finished off two mini perfumes from the Mix Bar. I think there was a third. Honestly, it, it was Tangerine Squeeze, but I don't know where it is. Again, I can't find it in my empty spin, but this one is, what is this? Vanilla Bourbon, and this one is Cloud Musk. I liked both of these, but I would not purchase full size of Cloud Musk, but I definitely would purchase full size of Vanilla Bourbon. I finished off one hand cream and strawberry pound cake, one mini shower gel and copper coconut sands, and one mini fine fragrance mist and coconut cream pie. Okay guys, so that is everything for my summer Project Use It Up finale. Again, look out for the fall Project Use It Up intro coming on September 1st. Go ahead and turn your bell notifications on so you can be notified when I post that video. But yeah, that's everything from me for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below, what are you most looking forward to using in the fall? Give me one scent that you are so looking forward to. I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!